emergencies, natural disasters, man-made catastrophes. Most people don't want to think about these potential events, but everyone needs to be prepared. Emergency preparedness is one of the key functions of Wisconsin emergency management. First of all, have a plan. Talk to your friends, your family, your neighbors, and what are we going to do if there's an emergency? How are we going to communicate? Where are we going to go? How are we going to meet back up? And then the next thing is have a kit. So we encourage folks to have an emergency kit. One for your house and one for your car. That's really what preparedness is, being able to satisfy your needs throughout an emergency. And when you need help is when you can no longer meet your needs. That's where local government comes in, that's where county government comes in, that's where the state government comes in to help you meet your needs. Because emergency preparedness is a shared responsibility, Wisconsin Emergency Management works with government agencies and the private sector to make sure everyone is ready when an emergency happens. Wisconsin Emergency Management Duty Officer, this is Robbie. Our staff is on the job 24 hours a day, every day. A duty officer fields calls from throughout the state, then takes the necessary steps to respond to the emergency. In some cases, that requires contacting other agencies, such as a hazmat team. In the case of larger emergencies, the Emergency Operations Center, or EOC, may be activated. The role of the, the EOC is really to coordinate all of the different agencies at the state and local level who have a role in a large emergency response. You've got a number of agencies, they all have different responsibilities, and it's very important that they're all working together, and that's really what the EOC facilitates. We've done full activations in the past. Probably the longest and largest activation was in 2008 for the flood event that, that hit about 31 Wisconsin counties. Um, we activated for about six weeks um, and uh, round the clock. Wisconsin Emergency Management's Bureau of Planning and Preparedness operates in three main areas. First, we maintain a statewide emergency response plan to ensure readiness for events like severe weather and power outages. With the winter storm coming in, we don't know, you know how bad it's going to be whether we're going to have a lot of uh, slide offs and traffic jams on the interstate or whether we're going to have people that need to evacuate their homes because of uh, power outage. So we want to be in position and ready to provide assistance before the incident. If you can take care of yourself and your family and not have to rely on first responders, you know, fire, police to, to come to your rescue, that's going to be a huge help because those folks are helping the people who are really in serious trouble at that moment. With the emergency response plan in place, we train thousands of emergency responders through dozens of exercises per year. The training ranges all the way from simple discussions of a possible event to full-scale exercises in which real emergencies are simulated, such as an active shooter or terrorist situation. The third area of focus is preparedness for a radiological emergency. Wisconsin Emergency Management works with nuclear plants and the counties in which they are located to develop response plans and ensure safety. Our role is not to be for or against nuclear power. It is to ensure the health and safety of the public that lives in the area of the plant and to make sure that all the planning efforts by the utilities and the counties and the state agencies um, are all coordinated and that we're all on the same page. Wisconsin Emergency Management takes the lead in preparing for catastrophic events, but we can't do it alone. Everyone should be prepared in case the unthinkable happens because emergency preparedness is a shared responsibility.